When you hear the phrase, soft as steel, what do you think of? While the word steel might conjure up images such as massive high-rise buildings, where does the soft part come in? And what exactly does this mean in our work and in our lives? You're hearing about something which, you're, which I would suggest or offer to you is something you're gonna to wanna to learn more about. Our, all of our brains are wired. And so these electrical signals pass through the part of your brain that controls emotions. You do have the ability to manage yourself so that their feelings don't cause them to do something that they, to put it in simple terms, that they'll regret. We have two, two types of competence that we need to understand about ourselves. One is our personal competence, which involves two skills, two aspects to it. One is self-awareness, understanding of self. And, and, and related to that is self-management. So being aware of what we're feeling and being able to manage it. And if we're in a role where we're trying to be successful on behalf of our company and serve our customers, then don't you think it'd be a good idea to recognize that I need to manage that so that I have the best opportunity in that interaction with the person I want to have a conversation with to get a better result. Good results are good business. The other competence is social competence. And that's being aware of the feelings of the other person, caring enough, being interested enough to notice. The other part of this social competence, a skill, is relationship management. So we need to, to be aware of ourselves and manage ourselves. We need to be aware of what's going on with other people so that we can manage the relationships. We have an opportunity to get the best result possible. People with the highest levels of intelligence outperform those with average IQs only 20% of the time. But on the other side, the average folks outperform those really smart people, quote unquote smart people, 70% of the time. And the, and the reason for that is what I've just described to you, this idea of what emotional intelligence is all about. Our intelligence is only part of who we are. The more important part of who we are is how we are with ourselves and with the people we deal with every day. That's the most important part. The Softest Steel Podcast with Dennis Duran. Featuring engaging conversations with a wide range of industry leaders around soft skills. Dennis is the author of Soft as Steel and a leading speaker and trainer for organizations across many industries and verticals. To learn more about the work Dennis is doing to activate soft skills in the workplace, contact him at DennisDuranSpeaking.com.